Now, Ubaidullah Bahir is a lecturer of transitional justice at the American University of Afghanistan. He joins us now live from Kabul. Now, Ubaidullah, the country is uh, facing uh, food shortage, uh, unemployment, banks are running out of uh, money. Tell me, how do you think the Taliban are going to deal with uh, these challenges? Thank you for having me. Um, a lot of this is dependent on, as your correspondent said, on the formation of government so that the Taliban can really get into their role of governing Afghanistan. There are quite a few dependencies on that announcement of government, which include one, the Taliban agreeing amongst themselves as to what the structure would look like and what the cabinet list would be. Um, on the other end, there, there's also <clears throat> excuse me, uh, conversation with regards to the Panjshir resistance. Um, <clears throat> and the Taliban are engaging uh, closely with the Panjshir resistance to get them to be on board and have an inclusive setup. Um, I do understand that the economic worry is uh, something at the front of everyone's minds. However, I think once the Taliban announce their government, they are going to have injections of capital including their own capital for the war economy that they had. So hopefully the economic crisis wouldn't be as bad as it is. <clears throat> it's just that the longer the government establish, establishing the government takes, um, the tougher it gets for the common Afghan. We've seen the scenes at the banks. Uh, we're seeing the people not have jobs. The government is still on standstill. So the Taliban really need to haste this process in order for life to start moving. Right now, Ubedullah, given the current circumstances, uh, certainly the Taliban cannot solve all these uh, problems uh, by themselves. They do need international help, but at the same time, they still have not received any international recognition. So how do you think uh, that's going to play out? Well, international recognition is dependent on them announcing a government first, and the conditions that are have been forwarded for international recognition include the inclusivity of government, the non-establishment of an emirate, um, and beyond that, there is the ideas of civil liberties as well. So uh, I think international recognition would follow once the Taliban actually announce what they're going to do ahead. Um, it was very useful for the Taliban to keep uh, their... Um, their uh, structure of future governance very vague when they were fighting. However, that meant that they actually hadn't done much homework with regards to what the structure would look like. And they're trying to do too many things at the same time. Um, again, the fall of Kabul came as a surprise to them as well. They were expecting a transition of power, a transitional setup that would give them more time to figure out what to do. But all of this happened too quickly. So it's only natural to expect them to take some time to figure their way around these hurdles. Now, Ubedullah, Afghanistan has entered a new chapter, which is full of uh, uncertainty. Now, right before uh, coming into power, the Taliban made a lot of promises. How do you think the international community uh, can ensure that the Taliban live up to those promises? There's a very delicate balance to maintain here. Obviously, if the international community pushes too hard, there will be a time when the Taliban, as per their reputational cost to their own fighters, would uh, stop paying heed to those uh, threats and they will risk being uh, isolated like they were 25 years ago. On the other hand, if the international community really gives them uh, a free pass, it would mean that the Taliban would establish um, whatever they feel uh, is right for the country. So there has to be a constant engagement. There has to be a communication with regards to expectations of uh, what the international community wants, what the international norms are. Um, they have, at least uh, based on their rhetoric, promised to stand by uh, those conditions. It's just we have to really wait for the government to be established. Um, again, uh, recognition is not absolute. It is something that can be revoked. Sanctions can be reimposed. So the Taliban would have that at the back of their mind. So we're hoping that there is a continuous partnership between the Taliban-led government and the international community, because if that doesn't happen, the people that suffer are the poor common Afghans. Right, uh, Ubedullah Bahir, uh, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World.